BSP Supremo Mayawati has slammed Raja Singh. She says that the comment is irresponsible and shameful. That's what the word is coming in. My colleague Pranshu Mishra with us on the broadcast. Pranshu, give us more context to Mayawati's uh, statement and also the timing of it. Well, yes, uh, see, in the backdrop of what uh, has been said by the BJP MLA Raja Singh, Mayawati is actually taking on the entire Bharti Janta Party and she is saying that uh, on the individual level, the statement is clearly objectionable. It is an unfortunate statement, but at the same breath, the BSP chief is also pulling up BJP by saying that, you know, BJP also should have been more stringent and more, uh, you know, uh, proactive when it, is, it has come to taking action or sending out a message to its leaders for, for, from refraining, making such context. So what Mayavati mm -hmm. is intending to say is that BJP has been soft in, in its response when the Nupur Sharma controversy first broke out, mm -hmm. and it has been actually unable to send out a larger message to its uh, party leaders and karakartas. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why we are seeing a similar repeat of what uh, Nupur Sharma has said in the form of a BJP MLA making a similar comment. Pranshu Didi, is, uh, Behenji is very, very uh, careful uh, on the issues that she takes on BJP with. And in the recent past, we've also seen that she's maintained a very careful posturing of the BSP vis-a-vis -vis BJP. The present statement, what kind of politics does it indicate from the side of Mayawati? Yes, uh, you're right. Uh, the the uh, BSP has often been seen as very soft towards uh, the BJP. And in fact, uh, uh, the opposition parties like Congress and SP often accuse Mayawati of playing hand in gloves with the Bharti Janta Party's politics. But at least on certain moments, and especially when it comes to you know issues of uh, uh, the, uh, the the Hindu versus the Muslim debate or in the cases of atrocities against the Dalit, yeah. uh, Mayawati generally has you know come out and has chosen to come out with a mild attack against the Bharatiya Janata Party. So if you talk in terms of you know, the opposition standards, and if you compare it to uh, the sort of attack which is uh, which is uh, 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 leashed out against the BJP on such issues, yeah. you compare it to the other opposition parties, will find that though BSP is critical, but still, you know, it, it is taking a soft line. So not dragging in the party's top leadership, not directly questioning Prime Minister Modi's leadership or, you know, Amit Shah's leadership, but making a very general generic statement saying that, you know, BJP should have been more cautious or has failed to actually to uh, restrain its airing uh, party characters. And Pranshu, not to forget that these kind of issues have raised, uh, rigged up huge controversy across the country. The Nupur Sharma episode is still not over. Yes, that's right. The impact Nupur Sharma issue is not over. We are also seeing that how it has been a big challenge for various agencies across the country. We have seen that how, you know, ATS has arrested certain people who are hatching a conspiracy to eliminate Nupur Sharma. We also have such errors coming in from foreign soils like Russia. Uh, so the point here is that for intelligence community, for the security agencies, it has been a big challenge. And mm -hmm. when Nupur Sharma controversy broke out, we okay. have seen that how stern the reactions have been. Whether this latest incident will again see similar, you know, similar sort of uh, uh, protests and reactions coming in from various communities, we have to wait. But political reactions have already started pouring in. All right. Thank you, Pranshu, for getting us all that uh, analysis and perspective on the reaction coming in.